Hi there. Well, it's a gorgeous spring day in the northeast of England where I garden. Um, so it's the first day this year that I'm going to go into the main garden and I'm going to start tidying the borders out. So why not grab a cup of tea and come garden with me. I don't know whether you noticed, but I took out this tub of chrysanthemums out the border. That's an autumn flowering plant. And I've got this beautiful tub of daffodils. Aren't they gorgeous? And I've got some uh, wallflower here as well. So I'm going to put that tub in the border there. Oh, good morning. How are you? How's the mother? I'll just come and see you and I'll be a second. It's all right. So you can see here, um, I'm going to cut back that goldenrod and the daisy and the linaria and the hydrangea and that will smarten that border up. I've just noticed this little lupin here growing. Um, if you've watched my other video, I was talking about the border being taken over by the goldenrod. This is obviously being buried and I can remember him now. He comes up every, every year and he's white.
must show you these tulips opening um, I thought they were going to be white and green but they've got a lovely pink tinge to them they're beautiful right I'm just gonna go and check to see if the baby's awake right I've just checked and he's still fast asleep so I'm gonna do this border now tidy that up so I must show you this so you've just seen me cut back all these dead fronds of the fern just cut them back like that um, and I had a quick look the other day to see if the ferns were springing back to life. And all of these, they look like snails. They're so soft and fuzzy. They are all the new leaves off the ferns unfolding. That is going to be a huge patch. Um, I'm going to cut down this honesty. Get out the old crocosmia. Um get all those sticks off the loose strife out and this area oh and the crocosmia over here and clean that up Look who's just woken up. Rowan. Have you come to see Nana in the garden? Hello. Hmm? Take my hand. Where are we going to go? Can you remember that? The water boat. <laughs> so come on. Where's your watering can? There now. Your watering can? What do you do with them? Let's look. The ladybird. So it's one hour later and um, we've had a lovely lunch with the baby and now it's pouring with rain so gardening has stopped for well today I would imagine. Hi so it's the next day, it's another gorgeous day today so I'm just going to continue round. But you might have noticed that I've cut the grass because these borders are just there's such big deep borders um, to tidy up um, and I just thought a little pick me up by cutting the grass because you can spend hours in the borders can't you and then it looks the same and then 10 minutes cutting the grass and the garden just looks gorgeous right so I'm gonna work in this border and this border and round in this border.
So that's it. The garden's had its first clean for 2023. The main part of the garden that is. Um, so I've familiarised myself with all the plants again. Some that I'd forgotten I'd planted. And now I can see what I have. Um, where I might have gaps coming up. So the last thing I do is I go around and I edge all my borders um, and I don't use an edging tool because all the plants in my garden love to just spill forward over the grass so I don't, it would be a waste of time. So instead of just pulling the grass out that the lawnmower has missed, I just use a pair of scissors and I cut. And this is sort of the fine tuning because you get right down into the border, which I love. Um, and you can see all the little plants coming up that maybe you just walk past normally. You don't see them. And also um, you can see these big perennial weeds coming up. So that, that there is a dandelion. Give him a, an oust. That's it. It smells gorgeous down here. I smell all these wallflowers. So if you're new to gardening, um, I would say don't get a strimmer because you don't know what you're damaging. If you just stuck a strimmer into this border, the little animals or anything in there, or you chop your plants off. Grass is there. And when you're down on your hands and knees, if you can get down on your hands and knees, you just get to know your plants and your soil so well. Aren't they gorgeous? Anyway, that's how I edge my borders. Oh, that daffodil's finished. So all gardeners have their own methods for doing things um, and you'll find that the more you garden you'll find your own favourite way of doing things. There's no right or wrong, there might be easier ways and that's why you're probably watching YouTube tutorials and videos, I do too. But. Like I say, I like edging the lawn like this because I like being in amongst the plants. So, hope you found it useful. See you next time. Bye.